You're a unicorn. You're watching Checked In, a show where we set out to find some of the coolest accommodations. This season, we're relaxing in some of the coziest vacation homes. It's time to get checked in to Huga Hideaways. Hey guys, Jasmine and George here. We're headed to this gorgeous, gorgeous tree house for a romantic little vacay. I actually asked you guys last week on Instagram where you thought we were headed, and the three most popular guesses were Arizona, Vegas, and SF. So if you guessed SF, you are the closest ones because we're headed to Aptos, California. It's about 10 miles from downtown Santa Cruz. And Janice from Ocean Living Vacation Rentals was kind enough to hook us up with the free stay and we're bringing you guys along for the inside scoop. This treehouse is over 50 years old and it's all balanced on one single pillar of cement, which is just crazy to me. Apparently it has these breathtaking mountain views ocean views and we're just really excited to get out for a change because as you know it's been a crazy year of just being cooped up so we got a six hour car ride ahead of us it's gonna be nice and comfortable because we're actually chilling in this mercedes that mercedes was kind enough to loan out to us for free let's do this let's go <laughs> <laughs> Is this it? So cool. Holy oh God. my goodness. This is insane. Oh my God. This place is just absolute perfection. It's surrounded by trees and it just makes you feel like you're in a whole other world. This tree house was designed by a 27 year old architecture student, Ronald Haas from UC Berkeley, my alma mater, go bears. And he describes the tree house as two triangles joined base to base with supporting beams built into the interior design. At the entrance of the romantic tree house, you're greeted with this gorgeous bridge and locally sourced redwood door that makes you feel like you're comfortably tucked away in nature. The build was completed in 1964, so the current state of it makes it even more breathtaking. <gasps> Babe. Oh my God, the view is so beautiful. Once you enter the tree house, you're met with a bright and open kitchen surrounded by floor to ceiling windows on all sides. Look at it, you can see the ocean over there. It maintains the sensation of being immersed in nature, especially with the natural elements built into the tree house. The vaulted ceiling and skylight makes the space feel extra open, which I absolutely love. You have stone countertops, heated bamboo floors to keep your toes nice and warm, and the continued use of redwood to really unify everything. These natural elements are contrasted with the black metal on the industrial counter stools and hairpin legs in the dining room for a more modern feel. The living room seamlessly joins with the dining area and is tucked in the corner by the windows and television, both a feast for the eyes. This living room is so cozy. I know. I love the aesthetic. If you're looking for that perfect Huga moment of cozying up on the couch with your hot cocoa and blanket, this snuggly spot won't disappoint. Down the eye-catching spiral staircase are the three bedrooms and one bathroom. Insane. Okay, let's go through the first bedroom. Whoa, this view is amazing, guys. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is so pretty. This is the first bedroom of the tree house and it's separated by these sliding doors. This is a shared room but can also be a third bedroom so this futon can also be a bed this is so cozy i feel like this would be a perfect place for like a yoga retreat you got a cozy chair for lounging and this tranquil escape and is separated from the first bedroom by these shoji sliding wooden panels second bedroom nice nice let's see it 
And this second bedroom has another queen size bed and again, the large open windows. But this one has a full luscious forest view of the gorgeous trees. Now we're headed to the bathroom. This is a full bathroom with heated floors, a large frosted bathroom window for your privacy and a tall glass shower. The shower floor and sink backsplash are made with river rock, which I think gives it a serene resort-like feel. Babe, let's check out the patio. Okay, go, go, go. There are three sides to the patio looking out from the forested valley. According to the architect, one for sun, one for shade, and one for dining. The north patio. The amount of peace that I feel right now is like so much. I can't even talk right now. I just feel so... <laughs> Relax, just staring at all these like giant trees and nature and the sound of the squirrels and birds. Are you happy? Yeah, this is amazing. <laughs> patio number two, guys. This is the west facing patio. And I think this is like the main view. You can see the sea from here. <sighs> all right, let's go to the third patio. Okay. Hammock! Also, this is just a great area for hiking, thrifting, going to the beach. Santa Cruz County in general is very well known for its multi-adventure options. Babe, there is Damn an it. envelope. Wait, what? Yeah. What? For us? It is addressed George and Jasmine. Ah, cute! Okay, what does it say? Dear George and Jasmine, welcome to the treehouse. We know it's easy to lounge around and stare at the windows all day in this beautiful, romantic hookah hideaway. But we think the treehouse is even more beautiful when experiencing it. When's the last time you put on real clothes? Okay, uh, calling us out? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? All right. Out with the sweatshirts and gym shorts and in with the formals. Put on your fanciest outfit and enjoy a romantic candlelit dinner while watching the sunset. Oh, cute! That's like literally right now. <laughs> the sun is setting as we speak. Okay, we gotta get dressed. Okay, let's do this. While Jasmine's getting ready, I'm planning this cute little surprise. We're gonna play the newlyweds game where we ask each other questions about our relationship and write our answers down on these little whiteboards. I know that we're not married yet, but come on, let's go. Oh. Ah, what is this? It's a little game that I prepared. What? It's called the newlywed game. We're gonna play that tonight, so I've got a few questions prepared for us. But before we play, I wanna pop some wine, please. Yes, okay. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, so should we eat? Should we play this game? What are we doing? Let's play first. Okay. Question number one. How long have we been together? All right, what'd you put? Seven years, two months, and 21 days. I put seven years, two months, and 81 days. 80! <laughs> okay, our anniversary is the 24th of August. 81 days would just translate into months. <laughs> If you could describe me in three words, what would they be? One point per matching answer. Flip. All right, so I got energetic, ambitious, and hilarious. I put loud, bubbly, and stubborn. That's kind of close. <laughs> See, I equate like energetic to loud, yeah. and then hilarious to bubbly. No. So do we get two points for that? No. Do I get two points? No, I think it's zero. Mm. Third question, where was our first kiss? I put... Outside my mom's house, under the street lamp, under the full moon. Nice. I put in front of your driveway, leaning on my Mazda 6, under a moonlit night. Yay! So we got one point. Next question is, if you could have any of my traits, what would it be? I said, patience. <laughs> yes! Patience. Oh my goodness. You can tell that I'm mad when I do this. Oh, yes! <laughs> Trying to leave me hanging. <laughs> well, that was fun. We got three points, so not bad. Can we finish eating and afterwards maybe change into something a little more comfortable? I like the way you think. Let's do it. <laughs> it's game time, baby! Whenever I played in a treehouse as a kid, it was always to play games with my friends. And this is no different as an adult. I have planned three holiday games that we're gonna compete against each other in. And if he wins, I have to buy him a PS5. And if I win, he has to take me on a shopping spree. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first game we're playing, we are going to have a spoon. The back of the spoon goes in our mouth. We're gonna shovel the marshmallows one by one. 
and the marshmallow has to be on the spoon. And we will have exactly one minute to do this, and at the end of the minute, we'll see who has shoveled more snow. Three, two, two, two. <laughs> <laughs> How many did you get? Two. Two. It's a tie. <laughs> on to the next game. Game number two, we're gonna have a snowman cookie on our forehead. And you've probably seen this game before. We're gonna wriggle our faces until we get the snowman shuffled down to our mouths. Whoever has the fastest time wins this round. Your time starts now. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Can I just give up? Gonna make it? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Ah! Oh my goodness. <laughs> Frosty goes Stop nowhere. narrating me. You're making me nervous. <laughs> Frosty refuses to budge. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh that's a bit of 43. Oh, Jasmine is the Frosty. Shuffle champion. And now she's doing a shuffle of her own. Oh my good, what the heck is, oh my, God. wow. Jeez. I win. Shopping right. spree time. Okay, okay. Wait, there's one more game. There's one more game. Last game. There are a bunch of variations of this game. Uh, we're gonna play it this way. We have 15 balloons on the table. We have two pairs of pantyhose, one per person. We're gonna blow these up um, and then stuff them into the legs of the pantyhose. And at the end of two minutes, we're gonna put them on our head and see who has taller antlers. Oh, Three, oh my God. two, one, go! I need to have a little bit more. Uh... <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> oh. <Aww>. You, you're, <laughs> you're a unicorn. Clearly, you won. Four and five. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys, that was a tie, which I honestly wasn't expecting. But in the spirit of the holidays, babe, I am still going to get you a PS5. No, way, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you too. All right, guys, we're so tired. We're going to get ready for bed, and we will see you in the morning. See ya. Enjoying the last few moments at the treehouse with some morning tea. What a great weekend, honestly. If you guys have a chance to check this treehouse out, I really suggest that you do. It's probably one of the most, if not the most unique places I've ever stayed in. Hey guys, a little fun fact about Jasmine. Every time she leaves an accommodation, she'll always say bye to random things. See, watch. Bye school, bye patio corner, bye rug. All right, guys, it's finally time to head home. Thank you so much for joining us on this Huga hideaway. If you want to book this treehouse for yourself, make sure to check out the link in the description below. Again, huge shout out to Janice from Ocean Living Vacation Rentals for hooking us up with this complimentary stay. Make sure to subscribe for next week's Huga hideaway escape with Mike in Lake Arrowhead, California. Bye, treehouse.